and gentlemen, thank you very much for coming this evening. My name is Tom Hodge. I teach here in the Russian department. I'm delighted to see so many people turning out for what I think is going to be a musical adventure that you're all going to remember. Um, I just wanted to say a few words. Um, please, first and foremost, remember to silence your cell phones. Um, but the most important thing I wanted to say was that we are absolutely delighted to have back um, Alek Timofeev. Um, Alek, who is the leader of the group Zingareska, who will be performing this evening, has been coming to Wellesley College for 22 years. <laughs> it's hard to believe. I'd only been here for five years. I had more hair and more of it was brown in those days. Um, and Alek looked exactly the same. He looked fabulous then as he does now. Um, and Alek has been developing his um, repertoire in ways that will well, that have amazed me over the years. I've been collecting his recordings, listening with great pleasure. Um, and he's gone in several different directions, most recently in the direction of Russian music that's influenced by the Roma people. And I'll let Oleg explain, and I'll let him introduce the rest of his musicians. But I just wanted to say, on behalf of the Russian department, we couldn't be happier to have him back. So please join me in welcoming Zingareska. Hello, everybody. Uh, it's true. First time I was here in 1997. And the reason why I was here uh, was that I was uh, studying and playing the Russian seven string guitar, the instrument that we will tell you more about in a, in a moment. And I was told that here there is Professor Hodge, whose dissertation was about Russian romance or leader. And that's the place where this instrument should sound and accompany singers, etc. And since then, a number of different projects came this way. Uh, but uh, this particular time, we have a very strong uh, Romani component, which is uh, the fabulous Vadim Kolpakov, my duet partner. And uh, Zingareski is basically the two of us. Uh, and uh, we will play a couple of tunes, and then we'll maybe say a few more um, words. And of course, you will also see other people who are performing with us today. strings to tune to me. <laughs>
Mm, usually we tell a couple of words where the music comes from. You know, we have a... Well, our duo has this CD that we have for sale today, and it's called The Secrets of uh, Gypsy Guitar. And basically, the thing is that the Russian 7th string guitar, it came to, uh, you know, developed in Russia at the end of the 18th century, and that's exactly the time when the Romani, or Gypsy performers, became uh, famous and became very popular. And so the Russian Gypsy Entertainment and the Russian 7th string guitar, they developed hand in hand. And, uh, uh, but unfortunately, throughout the 20th century, you know, the 20th century, the October Revolution were not very friendly to the guitar of any kind, and the Russian guitar almost died in the 20th century. And uh, my efforts are to revive this instrument, and we have a festival in Iowa, and we bring people from all over the world who are interested in this tradition, and there are more and more people like that, from Sweden, from Norway, from Australia. Um, but when Vadim and I started working on, uh, on this project, so looking for music, we realized that uh, most of it was basically gone, and there are very few people who actually play it. Uh, Vadim comes from, out of a Romani dynasty of uh, amazing musicians. His um, uncle is a very famous uh, guitarist and singer, Alexander Kopakov. And I mean, it's enough to say just to mark the magnitude of this, you know, duo of him and his uncle is that they were invited on Madonna's uh, 2009 uh, Sticky and Sweet Tour. Uh, and, and it's not a joke, actually. It's a serious matter. Madonna. Uh, I feel slightly jealous because I brought them in 2003, and I was the first person who brought them to Iowa, and then Madonna took from there. Um, but um, in order to collect pieces from this... Uh, CD, we mined uh, Vadim's experience and what he learned from his uncle. We learned some other pieces from uh, other Romani performers today, and we also took something down from old recordings. We found some music in the archives. Um, we found some published music. So basically, it was a very interesting, painstaking process, and now we're going to play an arrangement by Sergei Arekhov of a popular Romani tune called Kumushka, but we will not tell you much about Arekhov now because we'll do it some other time. <laughs>
And uh, now is the moment to invite our very special participant of uh, Dzingareska, the wonderful singer from, I should say, New Jersey, Tatiana Halitska. Uh, Vadim and I performed in Philadelphia once, and at that time Tatiana lived there. Originally she's from Minsk, Belarus. Is, is it true actually now? Yes. 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 And, uh, and uh, we sort of, she was at our concert and we decided to do something together. And at that moment, and that was already probably three years ago or so, I thought one day we will come to the Mecca of the Russian r romances, the place where Tom Hodge may... <laughs> have some interest to listen to that. So here's the moment. The dreams have come true.
Please welcome Tatiana Haristo. Well, uh, I think uh, since I actually have uh, Professor Hodge's dissertation, or at least a microfilm of it, at home, uh, I, I know that the, you know that his study were the high brow romances written by the like, great Russian poets such as Pushkin or Tchikov. Uh, the uh, gypsy romance is a little different affair. Very few of them are written by the, very few of the lyrics are written by super well known poets, uh, and uh, some of them are slightly lighter in. Uh, uh, you know, in their uh, in their content, but um, one thing is clear that around uh, the early 20th century there were uh, there was a popular genre, the old, the ancient gy gypsy romance, usually performed by ladies with some experience, kind of uh, uh, making themselves so cozy in a dark shawl, and usually most of the songs uh, were about him and what he has done wrong. Something like, it's his fault, or don't tell me about him, or he promised, but, and so on. And so, the, this, uh, the, in this context, the song, or oh, leave, leave at once, go away, уйди, совсем уйди, as if one can por partially leave. Uh, you know, this, uh, the, this song just fits very much this particular style. Oh, oh, oh. 
If I actually made it clear uh, or mentioned it, but all of the translations, uh, how many people f speak fluent Russian or here? Yes. Like a vast minority, it looks like. <laughs> so there are, are uh, translations of all the lyrics, you know, if you want to know what it's about. I mean, I, I guess I already provided the summary. Uh, it's all about him and his fault. But um, uh, actually, now we're going to sing completely different. Uh, well, we are going to sing, I mean. Tatiana is going to sing a completely different work, which actually, um, uh, you know, Russian translation by some Dmitry Lensky of a French poem by uh, Beranger. Uh, I didn't know about this uh, poet really, but when I was looking for translations, instead I found the, you know, the original, and then I found an English translation from a kind of a collection of Beranger poems uh, published in Philadelphia in 1844, and they were called this French poet, the best poet ever. So uh, interesting how little, how reduced his popularity is now, since 1844. Um, but basically, the, this translation is not from Russian, from, but from the original French, and you can, I, I'm not going to tell you what it's about, because you can actually read. <clears throat> Oh, 
любовь и воля проведения актриса сделалась больна. a moment to tell a, a couple of words about Sergei Erechov. Yeah. <laughs> what? Seven string guitar. Well, then the seven string guitar, yeah. Well, um, the, if I start lecturing on the seven string guitar, it may take way too long, because I, in turn, wrote a dissertation about that. Uh, but, uh, basically, um, not, not many people know that, so you, you know you'll be the privileged few in a moment. But basically, in the uh, at the end of the 18th century in the Russia, there were many foreigners, and they brought guitar there. There was no guitar in Russia, but those foreigners brought various kinds of guitar, and one was uh, the normal kind of European-looking guitar at the time; it had only five strings. And then there was a citron, a pear-shaped instrument tuned to a chord, and it was played by Czech and Slovak musicians and composers, and those two instruments were kind of mother and father of the Russian guitar. So it was a hybrid instrument invented by Czech musicians, most likely, but on the Russian soil, because there was not you know, an instrument which has the shape of the international guitar, but the tuning of the Eastern European so-called English guitar, also kind of a paradox, but basically that's the origin of the Russian guitar. And th throughout the 19th century, it was becoming more and more Russian. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, the Roma were uh, playing a very big role in that, but uh, this role is very difficult to measure because the Romani music uh, it, all over the world doesn't presuppose uh, writing things down. So, just like in Indian classical music. So, when I, and I mean, of course, everybody knows that the Roma or Romani people came from India. Uh, so they brought some traditions, obviously, uh, even though it was more than a thousand years ago. And one of those traditions is not to write anything down and to always live in the moment and improvise, etc. That's what Vadim is doing. And as you can see, I'm, you know, in tradition with the kind of white European culture and just stuck with the notes. Um, and. Uh, 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 so th that means that when we were collecting uh, materials for our CD, I guess I have to show it again because some people came, <laughs> came in the meantime. So this is our CD that has all the songs that you're going to hear. I mean, all the duets, they are from this CD. A very nice Hanukkah gift, you know, excellent Christmas gift. I don't know what other celebration. Is there such thing as Thanksgiving gift? I mean, <laughs> goes very well with turkey and with cranberry syrup and all that. Um, cranberry sauce, sorry. Um, so, um, so basically we need a transitional figure, someone who is not a, a Romani musician himself, but who spends enough time with the Romani musicians and he writes it down. And one of the, such people was Sergei Arekhov, a wonderful uh, virtuoso on the seventh string guitar, who played a lot, he played a lot of those romance repertoire and he played a lot with the Rom best Romani singers and and uh, other guitarists, 
And so basically, he, he's the author of a song that he didn't really publish. He basically, he wrote them down for sure, but we don't really know that. So what we actually know is people copying, writing down from, from old recordings. They basically write, write it down and publish it. There is, of course, you know, there is an array of, uh, you know, copyrights, questions there, but that's our source. Sure, we can play what we can play after that. Uh, I guess what we can play something really slow. What the beautiful tune, uh, beautiful. actually, uh, one of the most famous uh, Russian uh, gypsy Romany romances uh, that uh, made a very popular uh, by the famous uh, artist of uh, the Soviet Union period of time uh, of Romania region. Uh, her name was Rada, Rada Volshininova, and uh, she actually recorded CD with my uh, band. Uh, we recorded an uh, album a few years ago, and I may have a couple of, uh, of it here. And uh, we made it our own arrangement with Oleg also uh, for guitars. This beautiful romance uh, called, uh, I don't know how you translate it in, in English. Though. I was on my way home. I, I mean, that, that really home. is a yeah, very, yeah, very, yes. you know, it fits very well to into this sort of paradigm that I described. You know, a woman with experience sits on a train and thinks about what just happened and perhaps she's not going to ever come back, etc., etc.
Thank you very much. And now we want uh, Tatiana Halitska back. Ты пригубил по 
погибели не в этом дело, как ты любил, ты погубил. Cossack who crossed the Danube. It's interesting that uh, when you look at the programs of uh, you know early 19th century Romani performances, they played very different repertoire than the Romani musicians do now. They basically played all kind of popular songs of the time in their own gypsy way. And this song was super popular, not only in Russia but uh, everywhere, although it's a Ukrainian song. Uh, it's a song about a Cossack who is going to a war.
Um, yeah. Well, the next piece we would like to play for you, uh, again by the composer Sergei Arekhov, uh, was actually some kind of like my teacher and uh, idol for all Russian guitar players, I think. And not only Russian guitar players, he was like a Paco de Lucia in Russia. You know, if you know the Paco de Lucia, Spanish flamenco guitar player. So there was the same level uh, of uh, guitar virtuosity and composing everything for guitar. And the piece he uh, usually played and made arrangement of uh, called Moscow Polka. And he's, he was saying at the shows, uh, usually like, the, 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 it, it was a... Um, kind of like a simple song or a dance polka and it sounds like this. And so he made an arrangement that is now uh, played by many, many guitar players as a, you know, guitar piece basically. And I hope you'll like it too. So we made our own arrangement for that as well. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Tatiana Halitska.
другом Ямщик песню запою Когда приедем к яру, разогреемся, друзья, и под звонкую гитару будем петь мы до утра. Эй, я мыши! So much. I hope you enjoyed the show so far. So, uh, one thing I forgot to mention about our recording that we actually, uh, every recording, everyone who gets a recording has a chance to get our free signatures. Uh, um, well, also, we, our ensemble, you know, meets very rarely, so this is our concert, uh, you know, first concert at the East Coast this season. And this is our last song, and we, you know, that's it. So, thank you so much. And also there is another surprise that is going to be announced by Vadim. I don't think we're going to announce it, but we will just perform one more song. How about that? Yeah! <laughs> thank you. And uh, we have uh, our own uh, special guest uh, uh, from Boston, from Massachusetts, uh, our friend uh, who plays violin. And I would like him to join us this last song. Uh, please uh, welcome Greg Gafarov.
Tatiana Galinska, please welcome from Belarus. Maestro Dr. Oleg Timofeev. And our guest from Boston, my friend, Greta Power from Berlin. Thank you. And my name is Vadim. I uh, hope you enjoyed the show. Please see us, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and uh, check out our CDs. Thank you so much and have a Thank great you. evening. Bye-bye.